Hey guys, today we're going to talk about PHP. Since this is the first video on this category, I'm going to require you some softwares. Also, I will try to make an introduction to this technology that rules the whole web. So first of all, I will require you to download XAMPP, a very popular, a free to use and free is free of charge a software which allows you to build a virtual server on your main machine. This doesn't require any server, any payment, it's just free to download and free to use. So the link will be in the description of the video on YouTube and also on to the comment onto sorry, onto the description of the post on my blog. So what are we going to do? is uh, go to the link into the description and go to XAMPP for Windows. If you're using Mac or Linux, it's free, uh, it's totally free, you just have to choose your operating system. In this case, just choose uh, for Windows and then just click download. Then click installer and, down and install it, it's free, it's uh, very easy to configure, no coding required. After that, I will require you to download Notepad++, a free to use code editor or an IDE. IDE is actually an, uh, an environment to, to code your PHP or C++ or any other uh, programming language because they are all supported. So these are the main two things you have to download. Now let's see what each of them do. Let's start with Notepad++. So let me start the software. Just going to start Notepad and Notepad++. So this is the software that actually uh, detects your language, your programming language, and highlights the keywords. So actually, uh, what you have to do in, uh, to start building your first application is to go here onto language and then choose PHP. Just go to P. And here we have PHP. Of course, there's a whole lot of languages that you can choose from, but the ones, the one you, we're concentrating right now into this section is PHP. So this is actually uh, the the software, and that's what it does. For example, if I go to if, if I go to PHP, this is the the keyword that start the PH the starts the PHP uh, sequence and we close it, you see uh, th they are red. Also, a, li a little adv advice, I would recommend setting up a theme, which is uh, awesome. Uh, so just go to settings, style configuration, and from here choose your, choose your uh, theme. I would recommend deep black, oops, uh, deep black because it's awesome. Also, I, I also use Choco, but deep black is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to select it and save and close. Because uh, why it's my favorite? Because it's an awesome, awesome thing. It, it just looks like metric style. Also, another trick I, I would like to tell you is that you, if you hold control and scroll your, uh, scroll your mouse wheel uh, into front of the mouse, it just zooms in. Because, uh, you know, if, if we l let it like this, it's not so visible for everybody. So if you zoom in, you can see more of the errors, more of the, the sequence, and whatsoever. So the chunks of code will appear in a different color. Very useful tool I would recommend to everybody. So that's what Notepad++ does. Let's see what XAMPP is about. So XAMPP is actually a collection of softwares that allow you to uh, create a virtual server. How does it do that? Well, it first installs Apache. Apache is actually uh, the most popular server out there. That means that, uh, oops, it's already running, sorry. So once you, once you start it, you can see it here into, into the toolbar or whatever operating system you use. And uh, you have Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, and Mercury Mail. So let's, let's uh, see what Apache does. Now, if I go to my web browser and, uh, and enter in my, my local IP or local host, so local host, I can see it redirects me to the, uh, the server. Oops, local, local, local host. Come on, don't Google it. Just, God damn it! I hate Googling. I hate Chrome. Anyhow, let me go to my, my personal, um, my personal IP. So, why not to one four six one four six? So that's it. If I go to my local IP, uh, I will just go to the online shop I designed earlier. 
So that, that actually lets you create your own uh, website on your machine without needing to pay for a hosting or a domain name. Also, what it does install is a MySQL server. So if you go to localhost slash phpMyAdmin, which is another another address to the uh, to one of the services, you can see phpMyAdmin uh, starts. This is an an management platform which allows you to uh, to um, to manage your databases. We're going to ca come in and explain every single notion into the later tutorials, but this is only a, an overview. So here are all the all the databases. Of course, this is in my language, not English, whatever. And here we can create a new database. We can click create. We can uh, change the language. Let's change it for the sake of this tutorial to English. And whatever. And here we go. So we can create a new database. We can uh, modify some uh, some. Um, settings here we can see all the databases on the left hand side and we can manage it from this platform of course there's there are many alternatives to this platform but I would uh, I would strongly recommend this to all the beginners out there so this was the first tutorial this was an introductory the next tutorial will be uh, we will be going to some keywords in PHP and creating your first website Thank you for watching, thank you for accessing the biggest database of open source tutorials and open like coded tutorials, they're free for everyone, just go to the, go to the link into the description. If you're already on the site, welcome and check out the later videos, there, there are videos about CSS, HTML, PHP, C++, uh, all the Adobe Suite and all the programming languages out there. So, my name is Vlad, I'm uh, the director and a programmer for Open Tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you in the next tutorial. See ya!